not be the broke man. Guess I gotta go and be the dope man. I can't be the broke man. Guess I gotta go and be the dope man. Started with nothing, but look what we got. Came from a little, it turned to a lot. I know some people pray that my heart stop. They try to block, but I'm shooting my shot. I can't step out, just keep going. Higher and higher, I'm floating. Family first, that's my culture. Raised by the lions, surrounded by vultures. So right now we're at Haver Inner City Boxing Club with the world famous Sean Farley, um, you know, constantly grinding. Um, I love this gym, it's right down the street from my house. They've been a huge help in my career so far. We fly to Miami in two weeks, fights in three weeks, or weigh-ins are three weeks from today. Rob's been looking good. So the training's been great. Tyson's been, been killing it. All the coaches have been on point. Barnes has been on point. My diet's been on point. I feel great. We're in a good spot, but let's not get cocky, you know, and, and get lazy. I just got to keep my head down, keep working, and do everything I need to do for this fight, and I feel like we're, we're, we're headed in the right direction. You know, it's been about a year off. We took some time off after the last one because, you know, he had two rough fights in a row with Aldo and Cheeto. So we took some time off, rested a little bit, and now it's coming back and getting his timing back and his weight back down and um, trying to fill some holes that we saw in the last couple fights, you know, shoring up some of his boxing defense and, you know, even his offense trying to get uh, a little cleaner with the mechanics. And, you know, we're landing a lot of shots. But we weren't hurting people like we were earlier in our career, so we're kind of trying to get back to our roots a little bit with, the, with more boxing. So I'm always looking for a finish, but uh, you know, obviously losing two back-to-back -back fights. Not only am I trying to make a statement, I want to, I want to steal the shine from that whole car. You know, I want everybody talking about the Rob Font fight come Sunday morning. So we're here in Lawrence, Massachusetts. I call it the libraries where we come in, get that one-on-one -on -one private work, small group work, and uh, just get better here. So from this camp to the last camp, it's been a lot more uh, skill development, more game planning, more, you know, just making the right decisions. The last camp, it was just basically making weight. You know, just trying to make weight, just trying to get to the fight. There were some mistakes made, and we definitely didn't make any of those mistakes this camp. Yeah, he, he's looked good, man. You know, he's. 35 now, we're trying to, you know, be smart about how we train, you know, we'll just be smart, you know, he's not 25 anymore, but he's still not, he's not like he's 45, so he's still in his prime. It's just about helping us peak on fight night, you know, and I think those last two fights, you know, the, the Cheetah one was a little rushed, we kind of made a game time decision of like, do we take this fight short and notice than we want, and we kind of rolled the dice a little bit there, but in hindsight, you know, probably would have been better off not taking that fight, but you know, you live and you learn. I, I still feel like if we were faced with the same decision, we'd probably do it again. You know, I think Rob can beat those guys. It's just, it, it wasn't our night. It was, you know, no excuses. You know, you, you fight the best guys in the world. Someone's always going to lose. And So we have a lot of guys coming into the library as far as grapplers. We just flew out Angel Pacheco from uh, Minnesota. We did a lot of work with, that, with him. Obviously spawn with guys like Duma and, you know, we got all the boxers we spar with. It's, uh, it's always tough rounds. You know, Tyson never puts me in a spot to where I'm just gonna be the man in the room. We're always, uh, I'm always getting humbled. I'm always like, got a busted up lip right now. You know, it's always hard work. I think that just preps me for anything to happen come fight night. <laughs> I think the whole feeling around this camp is kind of like, all right, we got to fight up a couple times. We got to kind of take on, you know, some of the legends like, you know, Cody and, and Aldo and, and some of the big dogs. And now we get a chance, 
you know, we have to, to you know, earn our right to keep our spot. You know, we have to earn our number. So now these young guys are coming up and they're trying to nip at our heels. And I think we have to, you know, remind some of these people who, who Rob Font is. You know, it's all about those 15 minutes on, on April 8th and just having Rob peak and get in there. And, you know, he's looking really good. And if he goes out there and he stays disciplined for 15 minutes, he can compete with anybody in the world. For me, it's, it's more about getting back out there and reminding everybody that I, my name should still be in that conversation as far as, you know, top five title contention. And um, just got to go out there and remind everybody how, how good I really am.